Hi everyone, Louis here and today I'm going to bring you guys a video talking a bit about a game called The Forest. When I was streaming earlier, I asked how many people knew about this game and surprisingly, a lot of people didn't actually know it existed or just didn't really know what it was. And I think it's a perfect game for the kind of people who like the videos on my channel, survival, horror kind of thing, that is exactly what this game is. Hopefully in this video, I should be able to talk a bit about what exactly it is, show you guys the new trailer, which just came out a few days ago, and also give you the great news of a release date, which was confirmed in this trailer, which is going to be on the 22nd of May 2014. So this first trailer I'm showing you guys is the one which came out just a few hours ago and the developers said that this kind of shows off the end game. So if you're thinking it's going to be all about combat, I'd say this is something which is rarely going to happen. But in this case, you can see a player building up a small fortification, well actually a pretty big fortification, and then gets attacked by the mutants, which are the main enemies in this game after exploring into a cave. Definitely something you don't want to do in this game. There's not that much known about the game right now, but really how I'd describe it is it looks a lot like Rust, but it doesn't look like it was made in 2004. That sounds a bit harsh, but I'm sure most people can agree Rust does look pretty bad in the spectrum of everything. But, I mean, it does run good, so you can't complain. But you can see the graphics in the cave and the forest itself look really, really good. And you'll notice a lot of gameplay mechanics in this game you might have seen in, for example, like I said, Rust before. So, base building, the hunting of animals, as you would have seen earlier with a fish. It's kind of got zombies in the game, which Rust used to have, so I guess you could say that, but... But nothing like zombies, they are essentially just mutants and they are going to be one of many enemies you can find in the game. But there is a possibility of having things like bears and other animals actually being a threat. When it does release on the 22nd of May, it's not a full release. It is going to be an early access game on Steam, so you'll be able to buy it like lots of other early access games on Steam. Daisy and again Rust are great examples of that, so it will be constantly added to and this is just bare bones. I think simply the initial impression of... The graphics, the base building, the actual ability to cut down trees, the enemies, the physics, the ability to make traps. There's a lot of stuff really which I'm not covering but it looks like a really good package. Right now it is single player, I haven't talked about multiplayer at all but again that is a possibility, it's just early access. The first hour trailer for Forest, which is what you're watching right now, actually came out 10 months ago when the game finally releases on the 22nd of May. This trailer came out a year ago from that and these two trailers, the first one and the second one, focus a lot more on I'd say exploration which of course is going to be a big part of the game rather than what you'll see in the third trailer, which just makes it look like there's a bunch of dickheads who are trying to constantly murder you, which is far from the truth, at least looking at the three trailers instead of just looking at the one. The enemies in the game, as weird as they look if you only watch the third trailer, which was the first one I've shown you in this video, I know it's getting confusing now, but the enemies look um, rather interesting. They aren't just mutants with no real reason to be there. Seems like they have some lovely rituals, as you see right here. You can set stuff on fire and uh, magical stuff happens, so... Like I said, not much is known about the game, but it is really looking like a game which you're going to have to follow. There's a lot of games these days which are getting constant updates, like I mentioned before, Daisy Rust, etc, etc. And this is going to be another one of us which is going to get constant updates, and it may end up being more popular in those games. I was surprised to hear that Rust is actually more popular than Daisy now, at least in terms of pure statistics. I mean, a lot of people are avoiding standalone right now just because of issues. But even so, Rust is on some days managing to get double the players that Daisy is getting. I'm sure Daisy will eventually become more popular in Rust, or at least I'd assume so. But who the hell knows, this could end up being up there with those two games as well, since I would say it is very similar in terms of survival horror. There's really not much more to say about the game. I wish I could make a video longer analyzing stuff, but honestly, if you watch the trailers yourself, most of the stuff is pretty obvious there. When the game finally becomes public on May the 22nd, we'll see how much really detail they've added to the game by then. I mean, right now it does look slightly basic, but in terms of an early access game, I'd say it looks pretty filled with features. I was surprised to see you could stab a, a fish and, and eat it, I guess, eventually. You put it on your little fire in your little cabin and then eat it and some dickhead knocks on your door and tries to murder you. So we'll see what it's like by then, but it looks really good right now. Literally everything you've seen in this video is all of the media which you can find online. There might be a few screenshots which I'm missing, but the three trailers I've shown you guys here and also all the screenshots were also in this video. Hopefully I've at least gave you guys some information about the game if you knew about it already, or if you didn't know about it, then you've got something to be very, very excited for in just over two months. I'll leave a link to all of the trailers in the description below if you want to go watch those. I know I did make a video talking about this briefly a while ago, but I felt since it now has a confirmed release date and also a trailer, 
a bit more detail needed to be put in. But anyway, like I said, all the stuff in the description below. I'll make sure to definitely make videos on this when it does eventually hit the public, which is pretty soon. I'm surprised it's actually just two months. I thought it was going to be a lot longer, even though they did initially say it was going to be coming out in Q1 of 2014, but I can forgive them for that. At least it's coming out and there's a confirmed release date now. It's not going to end up like standalone where it's like, it comes out in 2012, Lewis, and then it comes out in 2014, pretty much. Or well, at least I hope it isn't. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all good stuff. Check out the website, theforest.com, and I shall see you guys next time.